Hello, my name is James Besick and I am a PhD researcher at the University of Manchester and my research is in the field of medicinal chemistry, which basically means I spend my days trying to make drugs. I mix chemicals together to try and make new molecules that could help other scientists to understand more about certain diseases and maybe even to understand how to treat these diseases. The most important word in science is why. In my opinion, if you've ever observed something, you ever noticed something and you wonder why it happens, you are already on the road to becoming a scientist. Now, wondering why isn't exactly a job description and I wouldn't get away with just doing wondering why all day, but it is a huge and important part of scientific research. My own journey into wondering why, into STEM subjects, sort of started at the age of about four when, to my parents' dismay, I started making these horrible potions using buckets of water, mud, leaves, anything that I could find on the floor. Um, it also stretched to things like making paper aeroplanes and seeing how far I could fly them. Or, for my unfortunate cuddly toys, it also involved making parachutes and then lobbing my favourite cuddly toys out of the window on the first floor of my house and seeing how far I could make them fly. I really enjoyed science at school. From quite early on I was fascinated with space, the planets, the solar system and then when it became an option I was fascinated by chemistry. Just the fact that I could read something in a textbook but then actually go into the lab and put that into practice. I got to mix things in round bottom flasks, heat things with Bunsen burners. To me that was just amazing and I loved it and of course it really helped that my chemistry teachers at school were so enthusiastic and inspiring. I went to the University of York for four years and I studied chemistry. For the first three years, the favourite part of my, my course was definitely the lab work and that was of no surprise to me. I definitely had my fair share of disasters, however even they weren't enough to put me off the subject, which is normally quite a good sign. In my fourth and final year, I went on an industrial placement where I worked for a small medicinal chemistry company uh, and that's my first sort of major experience in medicinal chemistry and it was that year that helped me decide that I wanted to carry on doing research in that area just because I thought it was amazing that I could make brand new molecules that could help us understand and maybe even treat certain diseases. It's not a question directly related to my research, but as you can probably tell from the dodgy haircut and the fact that I'm filming this in my living room, I'm filming this in the middle of a global health crisis, the COVID-19 crisis and headline news every single day is science. It's normally pushed down the order, but it is at the forefront of everybody's mind. And I think it can only be a good thing if people have a better understanding of the science behind the headlines. Science is absolutely full of certain stereotypes of people wearing one of these white lab coats, wandering around the lab, making puffs of smoke, different colors, things fizzing, banging, when in fact, I know absolutely nobody who works on trying to develop colourful explosions. I don't know any firework scientists, unfortunately. There is so much more to being a scientist than wearing a white lab coat. It is not a job requirement. Most scientists don't wear white lab coats. You don't even have to be a scientist after qualifying to, as a scientist. If you do a degree in a scientific subject, you don't have to be a scientist. You could be a comedian an actor, a religious leader, a world leading politician, or you could be an international rock star, or you could be all five, up to you. The great science share for schools is really important because as I've said before, science is all about asking questions and you can probably see where I'm going with this. The great science share for schools allows people like you to ask scientists such as me anything that you like. And I think that can only be a good thing to enhance the dialogue between the scientific community and the general public can only be of benefit to the community as a whole.